YouTube, Zookeeper here. So we're going to talk about the coolant control valve on a Toyota Prius today. This is a Gen 2. Um, it controls the coolant flow to the thermos bottle, which is a U.S. Um, feature. So here's the electrical connector right here. I looked at it, no damage there. Wiring harness, this is the position sensor, three wire sensor. I already have all the screws off. I'll just pull this guy off of here very quickly and show you what the bottom of that looks like. It's got a flat spot on it that fits into a flat spot inside here, which is what indexes it. And when the gear rotates, this rotates. So we'll fold that out of the way right now. Uh, this motor right here drives this gear. This gear drives the bigger, the biggest gear. This is connected to the valve, and the position of the valve. Uh, determines which way coolant flows, whether it goes from this way to this way, makes a U-turn here, or it goes from here to here, and exactly how much of it's in there. So when this turns, it, it rotates these spurn worm gear clockwise or counterclockwise, and then that in turn turns this gear. So I'll take this guy out of here. It just lays in here, so we can see that's in good shape. None of the gears are broken. That's not what caused it to break. Um, this gear is on the motor. It's got a uh, drive tang right here. It's pressed onto the motor shaft. And then it drives this gear. This gear is in good shape. It's got a little ball bearing thing built into the end of it. That's not stripped out, so that wasn't why it wasn't working right. But this thing is stiff right here. Okay, very stiff. Um, those are the internal parts of a coolant control valve on a Toyota Prius.